So legends, look at this balcony, this wraparound balcony and uh, the cavilia work or the rebar work that Boss Nanti has, uh, has demonstrated. It's awesome to see and uh, today's vlog is featuring this and uh, the installation of the forms, the plywood forms, ready for Bohor's time, hopefully in today's session or maybe tomorrow. So pouring concrete into these, uh, into this rebar work. Legends, welcome to vlog 242, 242 on the Miles Rolden YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome to the dream home building project in Sir Pete and Capis. And another vlog here, giving you updates on all going on on my building site. I hope you're well. Everything is good with you. You'll see from the outside, Legends, the facade is really coming together. We have... Uh, we have rendered the two pillars on either side and Nuno Jovin and the middle actually as well and Nuno Jovin has even started on top of the canopy. We've had to move all of our ballast or sand and all of our hollow blocks inside our carport uh, as asked by the barangay because uh, today I believe that they're having some sort of survey and uh, they want all of the roadside clear clear of uh of vehicles i mean obviously uh, bikes can be moved easily but cars aren't permitted on the road today so uh yeah i mean i'm sure that would have been a, a big effort for the guys but appreciated and done all right let's get up to the uh, top floor see what's going on legends oh legends just before we go to the top floor i just <laughs> i just said that we're going to the top floor I need to give you an update on the plumbing situation. So uh, Uncle Colot and his assistant have done an extremely great job here. This is not easy in this sort of uh, weather. They've uh, dug their, um, they've dug the, uh, the earth up and uh, now they've put, installed a um, large outpipe which is now going into what is what, what I'm standing on is a uh, sidewalk or a path but it also houses a sewage system or a canal and you'll see that the outpipe now is connected and yeah I'm just hoping that's deep enough I'm gonna ask uh, Foreman Rocky if, uh, if it needs to go deeper because uh, we we eventually will cover all of this, but uh, we need uh, we need to make sure that we don't strike it if we uh, if we put anything on top. Thank you. 
Right legends, I've just ascended the staircase and I am on the top floor of the Dream Home Building Project. It's vlog 242, 22, sorry, <laughs> 242, 242 on the Miles Bolden YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome. Let's have a quick look at all of these updates. So if you saw the previous vlogs, 241, you will see that uh, Tanoi had newly just finished this uh, troublesome window here, that lug bong that fell. And uh, now I can report that it's nice and dry and straight. As well as all of them. Foreman Rocky is uh, rendering this uh, pillar, this inside pillar. And uh, over to Tanoi, who is also uh, doing this wall or the uh, the top side of it, making it all straight and nice. And uh, yeah, back to uh, Foreman Rocky over here. You would have remembered from the previous vlog, he was uh, rendering this uh, second pillar on the uh, on the front facing uh, design or facade of the, uh, of the project. And I can report that this uh, pillar now is nice and dry and straight. looks awesome even the nice detailing here it's all finished really nice really happy with it and look at this balcony now boss nanti has done an amazing dot job he has two rows of uh of hollow blocks then some cavilia work some rebar work with C, C type junctions or joints tied together with rebar and uh, where there's meant to be a, a post or a, a small column it is uh, joined together with the rebar that is point that is actually in the slab in the deck itself And you'll see as the balcony wraps around, it then from this column here, it then goes up to a third level of hollow blocks. And then again, another beam that we will need to put in for mass and pour concrete into as well. And the eventual idea with this is it will house after this is uh, concreted and it's dry, it will house a railing with small um, window or win uh, glass along here that will be level with the glass that is at the front here. I hope that makes sense. You can watch it unfold vlog by vlog if the uh, words are not making sense, but uh, I think it does make sense. We'll, uh, we'll get back to this uh, balcony in a second. Let's continue with the, the quick updates. You'll see Nuno Jovin has now moved inside the area and has already begun the work on concreting these columns that are stationary or have been from the, uh, all the way down to the, to the foundations. 
so yeah these are looking awesome As you see they're quite new still uh, relatively wet and he's now on this one here halfway through or more than halfway through you'll see legends we're not touching the beam work or yeah the beams because uh, there's no point they'll be covered in kesame or ceiling So yeah, this uh, this column that uh, Foreman Rocky is doing is a, a relatively large one, real uh, real load bearing one, right in the centre of the property design. Joba is carrying all of the, I was about to say rice, all of the balas, all of the sand. Let's check in with the Dong Jerson. See, Jerson is in the CR still, but he is on the final wall and is, uh, I would say, halfway now. So he's doing an excellent job. This wall now is complete. The far wall there, housing the shower head or work, work, with all the pipe work for the shower head. And this wall, internal wall here, is all complete as well. I'm uh, really excited about this uh, balcony work. Let's quickly have a look through the uh, rear of the uh, balcony and you'll see that uh, most of the cavilia work is uh, is done. And even the end point there. I mean, it, it's awesome, the progress in a day or so. I'm really happy with it. I hope you are too, legends. If you're enjoying this content, and amazed at the progress so far hit that like button share this content and if you haven't already and you are new to my channel or you don't necessarily have to be new you just haven't already hit that subscribe button be a one of my legends subscribe to the youtube channel the miles Olden youtube channel show your support for what we're doing here This is awesome work progress. I imagine uh, tomorrow uh, they'll they'll start putting the formats on today, and I hope it. Uh, my bull horse in Aga, you think, boss or what pa? Wow, boy, the man see see boss nanti always humble like on my yard humble. He always says good things, boy, the man. So. Uh, He's, he's now going to spend the day putting uh, these uh, rebar or what what he can into uh, into forms into plywood forms and hopefully uh, at some point in this session or maybe tomorrow we can begin the bohus pouring of concrete it'll be bohus time again for this uh, small beam again it's not it's not anything really important obviously it's a balcony so it needs to hold it needs to to protect us from uh, from falling out out of the the, the property, but um, it's not actually load bearing or carrying any major weight, so it literally is just to uh, to put a full stop there on the wall. So legends, look at this balcony this wraparound balcony and uh, the cavilia work or the rebar work that boss nanti has uh, has demonstrated it's awesome to see and uh, today's vlog is featuring this and uh, the installation of the forms the plywood forms ready for bohus time hopefully in today's session or maybe tomorrow so pouring concrete into these uh, into this rebar work
Legends, if you uh, wish to engage with me, you are very welcome to. I'm uh, very friendly and I uh, appreciate all of my legends and all of the people who reach out to me. You can do so via Facebook Messenger, Instagram or TikTok. Just uh, head over to those platforms, follow me, hit the follow button and uh, just uh, message me on those platforms. They have instant message services, they're downloaded on my phone. I usually get them instantly. And uh, I always enjoy our banter, whether it be technical questions, simple pleasantries, wishing me well, all of it is welcome. So you'll see legends uh, that this column has got some chiseling in that Jobert in the previous vlog was uh, making holes on these uh, columns. Again, that just allows uh, the rendering to stick and hold firmly as uh, Foreman Rocky throws it on. Much like what Job, uh, Jovin is doing over there, no, no, Jovin. That, that column has also been uh, chiseled at. Ooh, let's get over here. This looks awesome. So this plywood form is going on ready to catch the concrete when we pour it in. So the concrete, uh, another plywood form will form here and the concrete will, pour, will be poured in the middle and it will form a nice, uh, a nice beam. So Legends, uh, Tanoi is putting some uh, guide string or piss it. So it looks like uh, he's gonna render this wall with concrete. So this is the inside of the staircase wall. So that'll be fun. That looks like a, a rather large wall. I'm sure Tanoi will make large, um, easy work of it. This actually is important here because it's uh, housing the tubes for the electrical plan.
So it looks like uh, Foreman Rocky is devising a plan with Boss Nanti for the platforms that will house this uh, this strip of forms, private forms, on the taller part of the balcony. I mean, legends, even with just this uh, this amount of hollow blocks, I already immediately feel a lot more safer walking around this area of the design. Um, obviously, it's that that is what the, uh, the, the safety wall there is for. But it just uh, aesthetically, uh, with your own vision, just gives you a, more security that there's something there that stops you. And that's not even finished yet, so if you imagine there's still a handrail to go, there's still all of this to be concrete poured. Uh, this will also have um, glass. That's the piece legends of the plywood that they're going to use. Looks like it's already ready. Again, legends, this is a, a more detailed look on how to uh, place the forms on a wraparound balcony. And again, the purpose of these forms, these plywood forms, is to create a nice straight edge for this rebar work. And eventually, once the other side is put on, concrete will be poured inside, forming a nice uh, beam. 
that just finishes the wall and uh, adds structure and uh, engineering to the wall. Sorry, structure, strength, adds strength to the wall. And you'll see the uh, the middle of the uh, plywoods are actually being tied on with steel lumbry to the rebar just to make sure that the, the nails are supported and there's no movement in the plywood once uh, once the uh, concrete has been poured I am really impressed with these three walls, uh, sorry, these three uh, holes here allocated for windows. Uh, if you saw some of the struggles that Tanoi had, particularly with this upside or underside of the window. It's a labor of love. It looks awesome now. You can imagine uh, once the windows are installed, it will look even greater. And then of course, with the skim coat, sanding and, pa and painting, should look the real deal. Right, legends, that's it for vlog 242, 242 on the Miles Rolden YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm truly blessed to have you on board. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching my content. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, with all this being said, the next vlog will be 243. 243 is next and uh, we'll continue with checking in on, on the gang with the rendering as well as the wraparound balcony and all the ongoings at the Dream Home Building Project. I'll see you in 243. It's me, me, myself and I, Miles Rolden. Thanks for watching.